Leader, over the weekend we learned of another member of the Defence Forces, another one from the vital services of bomb disposal, leaving because he cannot afford to keep his family on the income he has. 35 quid for a 24-hour duty uh, is hardly uh, an incentive to stay. Now, there are talks commencing with the Irish Congress of Trade Unions with respect to the current pay round with, um, because of inflation, etc. And for years now, the Department of Defence and the Minister have dithered on whether or not they would allow affiliation. Now, RACO, the officers' group, have balloted their members, and their members want to be also affiliated to ICTU. The Commission on the Future of Defence, which was established by the government uh, and was given to the Minister last February, recommends that they be allowed affiliate, and still no decision is made. This is nonsense. It's a simple stroke of a pen from the Minister, and I would ask you to write to the Minister and ask him would he please make a decision for once and for all and allow these people to have the same parity of esteem when it comes to negotiating on pay. Second issue, um, the issue of Hong Kong and the human, abu human rights abuses that are taking place in Hong Kong on a daily basis. Uh, yesterday we had a, a Catholic Archbishop arrested there. Um, I wonder, can we organise to have a debate in this House on Hong Kong? And I am fully aware of the sensitivities of anything to do with China. But we can't sit on our hands and allow human rights abuses take place in any part of the world, purely because there's a couple of tons of beef at the other side of the equation. Just can't do that. So I would ask you if you would be willing to uh, hold a debate in this House on human rights in Hong Kong specifically. Thank you. Lee.